You're scared to be alone. And you would rather be with any piece of somebody rather than being by yourself. And the sad part is, you know whatever little piece you're getting is probably taking more from you than he's giving. He, you know, you're doing things for him. You are, are taking time for him from your children. He's not adding to you at all. And the fear of just not having a man so you'll take any kind of man that can do whatever he wants, I mean, that's such a sad way to live. You're not divorcing a guy that you haven't seen forever. For some reason, you feel you need to be connected to a guy. You're a grown woman. You're a beautiful woman. You're an educated woman. You are going to school. You have two children. You can make it on your own. You don't have to be a punching bag for somebody else's... Uh, ego in order to be okay. Let that go. Let that go. <laughs> you are not defined by who you're with or if you have anybody at all. You are defined by the progress that you make within yourself and for your children. And he's blocking your light. You spending your time chasing around a guy who's got nothing to offer you. He doesn't even have fidelity to offer you. And you're taking it. You know what I mean? Nothing better. You could do bad all by yourself. And you could always do better. <laughs> don't let fear stop you. Don't, let, don't let, let the idea of being alone f make you feel like a failure. I think a lot of women feel like that. If they're not attached to some dude, somehow, some way, they have failed and they are not safe. That is not true. You are worth more than you've sold yourself for. And I hope you really believe that.